Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Trump and the U.S. Congress as a whole. And we're going to talk about Trump failing with FISA so hard that it demonstrates some fading, and it's going to change things in the future. Okay, so what happened? Trump wanted FISA gone. If you don't know what FISA is, it is a program that assists U.S. intelligence gathering capabilities. Trump has personal grievances dealing with this program, and he sent out his order to Republicans in Congress to get rid of it. It's coming up for reauthorization, and he wanted it to go away. I believe his exact words were, quote, kill FISA. Um... That didn't happen, but let's talk about what would have happened if it did. The first thing that would have occurred if FISA went away is every legal attache at every Russian embassy in the world would have popped a bottle of champagne. It would have been a huge win for Russian intelligence. Massive, massive. Chinese intelligence would have been really happy about it as well. Um, the next thing that would have happened would have been a very... A very quick slide when it comes to U.S. intelligence and counterintelligence capabilities. Okay, It is, in fact, a critical program. And I know there's people wanting to say something. We'll get there. Don't worry. Um, so he wanted this thing gone. Basically, most Republicans in Congress were kind of like, hey, grown folks are talking. Sit down. And they ignored it. They pushed it through in the House. Um, from what I understand, there were a couple of motions that might delay it moving over to the Senate. Uh, but once it gets there, by my count, it'll go through there as well. Uh, there was even a, a little move to have them add a warrant to a specific portion. That also would have greatly assisted foreign intelligence agencies. Um, so... It didn't happen. Trump very publicly gave his order to his party, and they were like, no, <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Despite media coverage, Trump is not the political powerhouse that they make him out to be. A whole bunch of Republicans in Congress just told him to sit down, that this is not something that he should be involved in. My understanding is that Republicans in the Senate are hot, like they're mad. Um, so, FISA was reauthorized for two years. And in a very, very bizarre twist of fate, Trump failing the way he did here. He might have helped the the civil liberties left more than any Democrat ever could. FISA is both a critical part of U.S. intelligence and counterintelligence capabilities and a program that has some issues. Understand Trump's framing of it, it was garbage. But he's not entirely wrong. The program needs reform. And there has been a push for reform for years and years and years. The problem is that most times it was pretty partisan. Because of this, and because Trump is undoubtedly going to be unhappy about Republicans that told him to sit down, it's going to add to his list of grievances. This is something that is going to continue to be talked about, not just by him, but by those people who are still firmly in his camp. They are going to talk about how FISA needs reform. And in two years, when it comes up for reauthorization, the civil liberties left is going to show up with a real reform package. And my guess is that it goes through. Um, 
in, in a very bizarre fashion, Trump really might have actually succeeded at something here by failing in the way that he did. Um, the Again, the program itself, what it's designed to do, it, it is critical to U.S. intelligence. However, there are a lot of issues with oversight, with how information gets swept up, that the civil liberties left has been working on for years. And they really haven't had any way of getting it pushed through. That might have just changed. Um, to fix this program, it wouldn't be hard. It, it wouldn't be hard. Uh, and I think there's now a real chance that that occurs. But solely because he wasn't successful. Understand what he was pushing for would not have fixed the program. Um, so you have a very unique situation that is definitely going to come up again in, in two years. You will hear about this program again. You will hear about reforms. And my guess is that you are going to see a really weird coalition develop to reform this program and leave it to where it can still function, but also fix the issues that are apparent and have been apparent for quite some time. So you have two takeaways. One, Trump's influence within Republicans uh, up on Capitol Hill, it's fading in a big way because this was public. This wasn't something behind closed doors. Like he tweeted out, about you know getting rid of FISA, he 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 did this publicly, and they publicly were like, no, that's a big deal. It's worth noting. The other thing is because of how it happened, and because there are going to be right wingers who are upset that Trump didn't get his way in two years when a real plan gets presented. I think it'll go through. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.